Ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking news. Today we finally found out how the blacksmith reset is really working and what triggers the blacksmith to have new inventories. Now for those of you who don't even know what it's all about, what is the blacksmith reset, I will explain it to you again here. The fastest method to get your epic items is not from looting. Because there are 12 different item types in the game, 6 weapons, a bow and 5 armor pieces. So when you just go and try to loot something from killed enemies, then you have a chance of 1 to 12 to find your specific item type and then you have to rely on the chance of 1 to 190 to even get the correct engraving so that is a very very rare chance that you will ever find your items from looting that's why people invented the blacksmith reload during a blacksmith reload you go to a random blacksmith then you make a save in front of your blacksmith and then you check their inventories the inventories on the blacksmith are really full of items you can check so many items at the same time that you will find your items much much faster than when you would rely on looting so what you do is you make a manual save then start to talk to the blacksmith check your first inventory it has two blues two purples here easy then we talk again to the blacksmith he has a different set of items a four epics here okay and if you don't like these epic items then we simply reload our save we have just made so we go back to the menu reload the save and then we check back what the blacksmith has now in offer for us I'm running the loading screen here now with 800% speed so that we don't have to wait so long. When we now check the inventory of the blacksmith, in his first inventory he has 3 blue items and in his second inventory he has 2 purple items for us. That's how the blacksmith reload works. You reload your save until you find a valuable item for you. If you don't find it then reload it and if you find it like the perfect epic sword here then you decide to buy it. Now when you buy it, then he only has the Kora sword left in his menu. And that's the item he will always have left. So when we talk to him now again, he also has the Kora sword left. And of course, when we bought something, we have to save it. Otherwise we would lose our sword. So we make a save and we save lock this blacksmith now he has a safe lock state of zero he will always show the same inventory no matter how often we reload a safe he will always have the Kora sword in his inventory so he's locked to this inventory and he will never show anything other again until now everybody assumed that when we wait for a long enough time period just for one day two days or just for a couple of in-game hours when you play a lot with the game that their inventories will in fact reset but that is not the case I had this inventory been for weeks now because when I don't play it really stays the same so the inventory will stay the same forever but there's one thing that resets your inventory and that's when you level up when you look at my XP bar it is almost as close to 99 as it can get I just have to kill a single enemy and now I level up to mastery level 140 and when I now talk to the blacksmith again he suddenly has another inventory just the leveling up triggers a reset so with one time leveling up we make him lock state one which means he has one inventory that is different every time we talk to him but when your blacksmith is already in lock state 1 and then you level up again then you can make him to lock state 2 which means he has then two inventories again. So to convert your blacksmith to reset your blacksmith you have to level up. When you level up once then they have one new inventory. When you level up twice then they have two new inventories. Here you see we have one different inventory and then when we talk to him again after leveling up we have another inventory which we did not have before. That's lock state too but that's not where it ends it can get even better than that when we do that on a blacksmith that is already in lock state 2 which means we have one inventory here then we talk to him again we have a second inventory here oh with the blade of yumminess nice and then we level up we can trigger a third inventory without having to reload our save so that can speed up things significantly for us we just have to kill the leader then turn around talk to the blacksmith again and see his third inventory so with this method you can trigger three inventories and get your items even faster than ever before 
So you can trigger your blacksmith to reset when you level up. So when you have a complete locked blacksmith then just level up once or twice and he has new inventories for you. This way you can also reuse the locations in Arcadia and Patra even faster than before. Normally you would have to use another blacksmith where there's only one blacksmith but when you level up you can use the location in Tegea again where there are two blacksmiths next to each other. And with two blacksmiths you can now trigger six inventories per reload so that's an insane amount of items you can check per reload now. That was initially discovered by our discord user the real salami who gave me the hint that at leveling up he had a blacksmith reset and he had new items there and I now tried it out and figured it out for you how all the lock states work. So don't forget to check out the discord there are really cool people who know everything about the game if you have questions and don't forget to subscribe leave me a like and see you next time. You don't fight like a Spartan, you fight like a god. <laughs>